Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas. I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and of course we're here with another exciting episode of Assemble the Troops, and we're still going on the weapons cache. So this is probably about part 50 million and seven of this, because this is huge, and I'm starting to get the vibe that I was sent more than 500 pieces. So many thanks to the folks who sent them. Um, but yeah, this is turning into a massive mission. We've clocked over 150 of that damn knife that we found in the last video and all sorts of other stuff. So we're gonna break up the monotony as it were. We're gonna get some troops in to visit us over at the Rob Vegas Technology Center and see if we can't, you know, just smash through this and get it all sorted so we can get back to normal reviews ASAP and normal assembling of said troops. So let's head on over and see where we're at. Let's roll. Okay, so you can see the pile is still bloody huge, but we are making some inroads. So the vibe I've been going with is, for example, let's say we find a handgun. That's just going to go in the handgun bag. So this is very similar to the um, technique that I used when I was sorting out the original collection weapons and, you know, like into stabbing and shooting weapons and things like that. So it's kind of, oh, cool. Don't know what that is, but hey, why not? Yeah, so it's kind of along those lines in that we're just, if there's something... You know, we can categorize, again, like a handgun. Put that in the handgun bag. I oh, didn't get that on camera, so let's try it again. Here we go, some more handguns. Here they are. Let's put them in the handgun bag. And I actually had to go out to Coles and get more bags. Uh, so, Coles, uh, thank you for your support. And looking forward to hearing about a sponsorship in the future. Look more of that specific mold of knife so more of them they're going in that specific knife bag who we checked in with last time and the count was at about 90 when we did it but um i've found a ton more of them so there is going to be a lot of those guys here's another one of dusty's handguns goes in the handgun bag Another knife, another one of those knives. Oh, I lost it in the pile, but it'll turn up. Oh, it'll turn up again, or I'll find more of them, which fancy that. So yeah, as I said in the intro, I'm starting to get the impression that there's a lot more than 500 pieces here because it just it's just relentless. And and as I said, we're we're cracking in at over a I'm definitely guessing there's more than a hundred of these bad boys it has to be because they just they're incessant they keep popping up and um yeah there is another different variation of knife i'm going to put them in a separate section just so that'll save me sorting it out later speaking of those knives oh oh we got one of that different variation and of course one of old mate so he can go in his bag now this, so I'm going to have to shout out to everyone on YouTube and ask if you can help me to identify this piece. Um, like, do you guys know what that is and who it goes with? I only ask because this whole bag is full of those particular of that. So if anyone can help me to identify that, um, please, by all means, let me know. I'm not familiar from it, and I never had that with any of my figures growing up. And for the life of me, I, I can't identify it. Uh, there's another one. So in case you missed or forgot to freeze frame, please let me know. I'm keen to find out. And just for reference again, another one. So yeah, you really do get a mixed bag of stuff when you order your 500 bits of... G.I. Joe weapons accessories from eBay and um, like maybe I got you know a bit of bravado or something or 
Did I order two lots of 500 weapons? Stranger things have happened. I don't know. But I have got a lot of stuff here. We're still going through it. Like I said, we'll be sorting into handgun. We'll be sorting into this thing again, which is kind of like a little machine pistol dearly. It's cool. I like it. We'll be sorting handguns again. So we'll be putting them in their spot. We'll be sorting this knife again into that bag. We'll be sorting like rifles. We got machine guns. We're sorting them into a machine guns bag. We're sorting, we got a weird stuff bag for things like this. That's, that's a your guess is as good as mine. We got a big bear rifles bag. He's going to be really happy. I'm looking forward to getting him on the show. So big bear is going to be wrapped when he finds a lot more of his rifles. He's going to be a happy camper. So I'm looking forward to that in a future episode. But, um, oh, look, there's another one of those things. In the meantime, we're just going to keep on slogging through it. And hopefully we can have some kind of something out of all this. Anyway, did you, any of you lovely people out there ever take the ludicrous plunge and buy a bag of a ton of weapons off eBay for really cheap. I did, and here we are, like four or five, or I uh, lost count. We're many, many moons into this, and yeah, it is what it is, but it's been a lot of fun, and yeah, who knows what pops up next. You know what we need to do, though, is get a troop out and get a modelin with some of this gear. So it's Desert Scorpion. He's happy to be out of the desert and out of the hot sun because he doesn't like it, quite simply, and he was sent there on punishment detail. He still can't work out what it was he did wrong. But here he is today, and he's like, well, what do you got for me? And I'm like, well, we got tons of stuff for you, mate. We've got rifles, handguns, a ton of those knives, if you like that. We got all sorts, buddy. So, let's see how Desert Scorpion goes. He's, he likes to keep things pretty simple, so he's going to try out this simple rifle. He's not a complicated man. So there we go, he's looking pretty cool with that. Not bad. So, good stuff. He's keen about those knives, of course. It, so there he is with one of our favourite knives, which we have quite clearly got over a hundred of now maybe this looks like a grenade launcher desert scorpion likes blowing stuff up so let's see how he goes with that he's pretty happy with that let's see how he goes with two of them so he's gonna again do the hong kong 1990s action sequence he's got two grenade launchers so he's a happy camper that's great he likes well, as I said, he doesn't like it, but he ends up in the desert, and um, it's just part of the fun. Speaking of desert, and speaking of two-hand gun fun, we've got two of those handguns that Dusty had back in the early 90s. So Desert Scorpion's going to rock them. He's like, hey, Dusty's cool, but I am too. Actually, no, he's not going to rock that one, because that looks a bit too big for his hands and I don't want to break the thumbs of course no one wants to do that um, let's just give him this little machine gun kind of thing which vaguely resembles what he came with in the first place so Desert Scorpion thanks for testing that out for us that seems to work excellent well like I said I'm gonna sign off on that note and this might come as a big surprise but I'm gonna be sorting through more of this stuff and i will see you all in the next video so thanks as always for watching comment like and subscribe you know the drill who do you want to pop up in another video next week or not next week whenever it is yeah let me know i'll speak to you soon and thanks for watching cheers everybody